So this is the beeswax that we got out of our slow cooker from the render of the of all of the bee particles and the wax that were mixed together in our uh, bowl here, which you can now see is empty. And the darker color as compared to say, um, this is wax that just came from pure honeycomb. I mean, there's a little, uh, there are small amounts of contaminants in this, but not nearly as much as we find when we render. Um, this wax came from a part of the hive where the bees actually grow inside the wax. And so it's called brood comb. So this was kind of a mix of the brood comb, um, which is still wax, but gets bee particles and, uh, and many more contaminants in it. So those kind of, you know, color the wax just over time. And the, the white that you see on, on the wax is completely normal. It's called bloom. And that happens because it's certain of the oils in the wax rise to the top. And so there is nothing wrong with that wax at all. Um, wax can be used for any number of things, including lots of neat art, uh, like batik and encaustic. And it's just used for just many things. Uh, the one thing is that if you are going to render beeswax, uh, as with all equipment that has to do with bees, you need to get a designated uh, you need to get designated equipment because like you're never going to get this cleaned off of this slow cooker. So one really easy thing to do is go to um, the thrift store and just buy an old slow cooker uh, because that will save all of your good kitchen equipment. So that is about it.